Maybe, we don't know. I don't know how many kids he got, but he's gonna make you laugh and you're gonna enjoy yourself. Y'all ready for it? For one? All right, everybody, give her, give her, give her. Let's go, keep the energy up. Huh? Go. One, teamwork, everybody. Give it up for the ism that is Afro man, all right? That's why we're here, right? That's why we're here. It's not because of these terrible jokes we got, it's because of this awesome rapper we got, right? We just here to take up the free time while y'all chilling, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the people working their ass off in this motherfucker, too. God damn. Bro. Love, man. It is love at Kelso. You know what I'm saying? I come from Oregon, you know? I used to live in Tacoma, though, you know. But okay, I see you. Okay, Tacoma, yeah, for sure. I was out there. Lakewood. I was in Lakewood and shit. Where was you at? Seattle. Okay, okay. She was, she was getting money. I was, I was broke, so I had, to, I had to bust that thing down and get over to Tacoma. You feel me? Shit. Kelso. I'm going to be honest. Now, from Portland to Tacoma... This ain't the place I was gonna get gas from, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm being real though, you know what I'm saying? Like, I see what's going on, but I ain't trying to be on, on no TV show for nothing crazy. You know what I'm saying? But I came here and there's some real ass niggas in this motherfucker. Everybody in this motherfucker real as shit. Damn, y'all niggas is real, fuck. I was in Wyoming in the summertime, and they got some real niggas in Wyoming, too. It felt just like this. What part of Wyoming? Casper. I was in the shit. I was in the shit. <laughs> Kanye won't take his ass out to Casper. <laughs> the only reason I'm doing comedy is because Pete Davidson is lit right now. You feel me? He is lit. I'm like, shit, I got some jokes. <laughs> the fuck? That nigga Kanye mad as hell. <laughs> oh man. He bought the house right across the street from it. Okay, y'all know? Y'all watch TV in Kelso. Okay. Yo, I feel like I can get a good home cooked meal here. What y'all fuck with? Y'all fuck with chitlins in Kelso? Ask how many are from Kelso. Chitlins? Ask how many are from Kelso. Oh, there's not that many. How many? How many of y'all fucking with are from Kelso? Oh shit. There we go. There we okay. go, friends. Okay. 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 Yeah, so gonna say they took up the couch. That's how you know they're from Kelso. They bullied the couch. They was like, it was like, nigga, this is my house. Fuck y'all niggas talking about. Y'all can sit up, y'all can stand up, bro. On the game. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy. Shit, I'm high. So I love everybody in here. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I do. We we is God. I just figured that out. I just figured that out. It is, bro. That's the closest I've ever been to God. Is when I was high. High on what? We. Oh, uh, acid for me. Oh shit. Acid. That's that's the white man made acid. The universe. The universe made mushrooms and weed. I love this place. Y'all do comedy out here a lot? Sorry. Just this couch? <laughs> yeah, y'all do. Y'all should, bro. This is a spot. Shit. I didn't know I was going to pass two Trump signs to get to Afro Man. That's crazy. <laughs> Nigga, the first Trump sign ain't even say make America great again. It just said Trump. I was like, God damn. Trump owns some shit out here that I don't know about. Shit. <laughs> Then I went past another Trump sign, I was like, shit, y'all sure Afro man out here? <laughs> this is set up. <laughs> this is the play, right? Then it was Gates when I pulled up, I was like, oh my god, this is the set up. They gonna trap my black ass <laughs> Hey, we felt the same way with Afro man coming out here, we're like, oh my god, it's gonna be Slaughterhouse. Oh man, I don't know what he meant by that, but it was good, I swear. It. He meant nothing but love when he said what he just said, all right? Please don't pack him out this side of the couch. <laughs> Shout out to this side of the couch, because y'all some real niggas, man. Sage. What's up? 
Shout out to Sage, because that's the coolest name ever, my nigga. And you got the coolest business card. Hold on. We promote, we promote local hustlers, you know what I'm saying? Bro, his business card is translucent, bro. Like, I know y'all don't know what that means, but that means that light, if it hits that motherfucker, it gets out that motherfucker a different way. I was like, bro, you must be making money because this shit is not cheap. My shit is some bullshit, but I got some shit that I gave to you. <laughs> I can't help you, but just call that number for something. I don't know. Oh, shit, we just giving out business cards. There. See? Shout out to him, man. Where are you from? Shit, I was born in Germany. What, what do you call home? I don't have a home, bro. This is home right now, shit. Fucking night, dude. Yeah, Cheers. word. Welcome home. Thank you. God bless you. I feel like I'm at home. The, the lady at the front just kissed me. You know what I mean? That's, she gave me a big ass hug and a kiss. I was like, fuck. Hey, she's amazing, dude. She's yeah. amazing. Okay. My mom is on the East Coast, so I need shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? All right. I like that. I like that. I like that. Damn. We got a bunch of comedians, too. They killing shit, you know? They probably not as high as I am, so you might get better material, but... <laughs> I'm just really freestyling, because this is how I feel right now, you know? Fuck a joke, right? It's 2022. Why are we joking for? You know, shit's serious. <laughs> Niggas is losing their house and shit. Go shit keep jokes. closing up. Go dad jokes. Dad jokes. Oh, I got a good dad joke, okay? My homie got seven kids. He's not fucking lying, all right? He's a real nigga. He tells the truth. I was going to grocery shopping. I ran into this nigga with his kids, my nigga. He is a good father. Shout out to him. Shout out to Ike, man, for being a good father. Now, I'm such a real nigga. I didn't individually count his kids to make sure they were seven, but it was the army, so I believe him. <laughs> I believe him. I you a real nigga, dog. You a real nigga. <laughs> you a real fucking nigga, man. Shit. Thank you for this opportunity, too. Shit. He the nigga that's, I'm even here, you know? If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't even know that Kelso was this side of the couch. <laughs> I love y'all, man. Shout out to Kelso. There was a girl I dated. Her last name was Kelso. She wasn't as cool as y'all, though. So. She don't get that name no more. We gonna call her Tum Water or something. Like <laughs> <laughs> go in Portland. Go in Portland. I'm freestyling. <laughs> this is crazy. All right. Are you drawing? What are you drawing? What are you? Who are you? Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Ayana. Ayana. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> That's fire. Okay. She is in her bag. Give it up for Ayana in her bag. Yeah. She's, she's in her bag right now. She can really draw. Like, I can't draw. I'll be drawing stick figures and shit. I feel you on that. I feel you on that, bro. They be like, I couldn't work for the police because I'd be the, the worst person with the... I'd probably mess up on purpose. I'm going to be honest with you. Let's see a stick figure if it was a black dude, I'd write a white dude. I'm just... Uh, just hey, let's see a stick figure on stage just like Bob Ross. Okay. And as you're drawing, you're commentating. That's fire. That's let's fire. see it. All right. I don't even know what you said again because I'm high. I'm, a man, I'm high, bro. That was English, man. I love you. That's that's what I really want to tell you is I love you. Shit. All right. Thank you guys for this opportunity. Give it up for the next comedian. I come take this shit, man. Hold it down, G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Juan Denmark. You can just Google that shit or go on Instagram with it. Juan Denmark. Yeah. Like J-U-A-N, like I'm Jose, but I'm Juan. And then Denmark, like the country. Thank you. So, what we're going to do next is we're just going to, uh, we're going to do some music. But I also got greeted like Juan, too, at the door. Got greeted with a kiss, but then she squeezed my booty cheek, too. I know, woo, it felt so good. I missed that, I missed that. My ex used to squeeze my booty cheeks and slap it, too. I know it's weird, but I said I enjoyed it. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna play some music and stuff and get set up for the next uh, performer, which is gonna be a, a recording artist. Y'all ready for that? All right, because I just found out five minutes ago I wasn't ready for that, but I'm ready for it now. I'm ready for whatever. 
in Kelso. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to walk in. 